You are about to see a demonstration of a metering pump which automatically and reliably purges accumulated gas. The series ARPZ electronic diaphragm pump features an air release valve that works extremely well. ARPZ pumps have an air release valve mounted to the top of the pump head where the discharge valve would normally be located. The spring-loaded discharge valve is mounted horizontally on the face of the pump. Purged gas will be seen bubbling through the liquid in a water column located on top of the air release valve. This column is provided for visual effect only. Return tubing would normally be connected between this port and the chemical supply container. As you watch the video, listen to the change in the pump sound. The pump will become louder when liquid, which cushions the diaphragm, is displaced by gas. After the gas is purged, the sound will become softer as pumping resumes. Observe as a large amount of gas is released into the pump suction line and rises into the pump head. You can hear the pump get louder. Note the angled port leading from the diaphragm chamber to the top of the head. Observe the gas rising through this passage to the air release valve. Listen as pumping resumes. Watch again. Gas is released into the suction tube. Gas rises and enters the diaphragm head. The pump becomes louder. Gas is discharged through the air release valve, seen as bubbles in the water column. The pump sound becomes softer after gas is purged. Pumping resumes. This same technology has been adapted to the Neptune Series 500 pumps with PVC heads. You may specify the air release features on any Series 500E PVC pump up to 9 gallons per hour. Pumps with larger flow rates tend not to require gas release valves as the higher volume per stroke purges accumulated air naturally. We thank you for your time to see this demonstration and ask you to consider a Neptune air release product for your next sodium hypochlorite application.